If you guys want to get notified whenever I buy or sell a player, make sure to follow me on ultimatetrader.club, sign up for free now, and check how I make coins with my trading journal. How's it going everyone and welcome to another market watch video today we're gonna be checking uh the current market status as you guys know in the past two weeks i have nailed it uh with the market movement and all of that i have told you guys that many of the player prices will actually drop uh during this period after the qualifying month in february all ends and also after the lunar new year when so many coins have been um like uh thrown away from this market and because the market is low on coins the high-end players the higher price players are also dipping in price for that reason now we're gonna drop and check right now the indexes today is a bit rising even though i wouldn't uh, say this is a massive rise uh, of the market right now it's a really small uh, market rise it's only two po uh, two points like higher than it was yesterday but uh what is happening right now in my opinion is the weekend league is prolonged also the market stagnation will still be there uh at its value because of the weekend league that's not ended yet and then from tomorrow going into thursday after awards the market could still be at the similar values but eventually it will start picking up um in the next week in my opinion going into that march period going into the sad patrick's day now if we just go and check the index special right now uh, we do see also the index special getting up a bit in the last 24 hours. If we go and check the daily graph, uh, we've reached pre, uh, a pretty low point on Sunday. As expected, it was um, based on the, the index, like it, it wasn't lower than during Lunar New Year, but it was really close. Uh, I expect the, the special cards to start slightly rising from here, uh, moving into the next weeks going into the march period into the new weekend leagues and all of that i expect most of uh the team of the weeks to rise we're just gonna check right now what the team of the week 22 is doing and if we go and see like firmino went down to 240 yesterday i sniped him under 240 which i think was a good price but he has been um massively supplied during the lunar new year and this team of the week was like the supply was really big you could see bernard ask 21k yesterday zelinski was at 16k if you are a sub to my ultimate trader you probably picked them up we already saw Sold a few for 20k made quite good profits there on this jump uh there's also kramaric who went back down to 86 parejo uh, i would really 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 um be aware of parejo right now because a lot of people believe he'll get the 87 rated upgrade uh this inform when his goal card will get to an 84 then uh based on that his 84 should be an 86 but since ea is working in I, I can't explain how they do the upgrades doesn't make any freaking sense I wouldn't I wouldn't gamble it I would just wait for Parejo be before jumping in on this investment to get his upgrade and if he gets to an 87 then I would consider to buy this car now if we go and check some of my buys yesterday that I also made. Icardi right now is at 65k. I bought it for 60k yesterday. He is the freaking cheapest ADA rated card in form right now on the market. In my opinion, it will push up to 70k or higher. I will wait. I will wait before selling Icardi because I do believe if they drop a Pele uh, card, uh, an SBC, like an SBC icon, SBC that will require uh, higher rated in forms. I do believe Icardi and all of these guys um, will go even higher in value. That's why I invested in him I think I bought 15 of him so right now making 5k per card after tax that's not much profit but I'll just wait I feel like he will rise even more uh and there's also the 87 rated version who is 10k cheaper than Rufier in my opinion Rufier will gradually also go up but there is more chance that there will be another round of supply for the 87 rated inform cards which means that the new informs that are coming they they are higher and higher rated and higher and higher rated cards who are not used in the weekend league who are not um, don't have like a demand uh, in terms of gameplay. I do believe those cards can kind of um, uh, cause uh, a card like Icardi to not rise that much. So I would be wary here right now. And uh, like I bought only 587 cards where in terms of ADA rated uh, informs, I do believe there is last chance that we get like ADA rated cards, inform cards that will push lower than 60k or something like that pretty soon. 
So if we go and check right now the markets on the 86 informs as well, they are stagnating at 35k. This is due to the SBC, the Icon SBC potentials. Uh, on Thursday, if we get a new Icon SBC, they could bring these cards up in value. But essentially, if you want to invest in these 86 rated informs, you want to target the ones that you think that they have also in-game demand. So you're covered in two ways. You're covered in one way that they have the SBC demand, and in the second way, you're covered that possibly people will put them in their team like Burki okay he looks like a solid card people could put him as a goalkeeper in his Bundesliga team then we have Marlos who has been praised a lot he has been praised a lot by Footwiz go and watch that video uh go and watch the videos where uh pro players or they do like player reviews and if they give them a good review if, they, if the player gets a really good review there is chance that this player will rise up in price with more ease than the other cards so in terms of Marlos I do think I already bought him for 35k yesterday and sold to lazy buyers for 40k which was a really good buy and was a really profit uh, a really great profit great flip quick flip in one day for me so i'm really happy with that uh if you guys still again are not subscribed to my ultimate trader journal and you want to see who i'm buying who i'm selling you can do that in the description uh the link will be down in the description of course and now we're gonna check the 83 rated cards 83 rated cards right now are pretty cheap I mean, last year for the St. Patrick's Day, they weren't needed. No higher price, like a higher rated cards from 83 or above were needed for the SBCs for the St. Patrick's Day. But you never know what EA will do this time. If they do this time out, like, I, I don't know, an SBC which requires these cards, I do believe they can go back up close to the 2K values. So if you're looking to invest, maybe. If you're looking to mass invest, I don't know if it's a smart idea. It might be in my payout, but I don't know if 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 it's the best idea to do right now. Also, the 84 rated card they went down a bit, close to 3.5k again. But it's, this is still not the buy time uh, in my eyes. Like 4k is still a high value for the 84s. Just shows how many um, probably Icon SBCs are being made right now when they hold their values here uh, because of the SBCs. Keep in mind. Once this SBC hype and all of that is over, going into team of the season, probably in April, I do expect all of these cards are over the spectrum to just uh, slightly dip because also the interest in FIFA will be lower then. Uh, then if we go and check the 86 rated uh, cards right now, there are 20k value. This is a normal value. This has been like a value where they stagnated up. They went sometimes down to like uh, 15k. Then in the hype last time out, the Icon SBC Larson was released. They went up to 30k which was crazy i sold miranda for like 29k or something like that but 20k is a normal value for 86 rated card on playstation so if you're looking to do any icon sbcs with the 86 rated cards you could try and do them now but there is chance uh, possibly in april that they will dip as well uh if you want to check the 87s right now they are inflated 30k that's a bit inflated the, their normal value was usually 25k their lowest point value from what i've seen has been 20k so i do think these cards still need to dip a bit it's the icon sbcs that brought them up and they are holding those values uh over 30k which in my opinion is a lot also given the fact that handanovic got an 88 rated card yeah, Yesterday, he dropped 30k. Right now, he's at 33k back again. If we go and look, the 88s, they're over 40k, which 40k was that normal value. Uh, they usually stagnated at 40k, went down to 35k. I picked some 88s uh, this year as well at 30k, close to 30k values, 32 or something like that. But eventually, because of these Icon SBCs that with these sort of requirements, they also pushed up. So, uh, again, guys. You could do these icons SBCs now, but they will definitely drop uh, after April. So if you're looking to do that, just like it's one month away almost. So it's one month away when you do them when the April team of the season hype starts. I expect the team of the season to be released even sooner this year because of the World Cup mode if they release it uh, later on going into summer. So um, if you're looking to do any of these icons SBCs, I, I understand that you guys want to use them now, want to play with them now, but eventually it would be better to save, I don't know, like 200k, 100 100k uh, it would be better to wait of course um again guys thank you so much for watching i'll be releasing another video tonight i'll be explaining a new method that me and my subs on ultimate trader are doing uh, if you want to subscribe to ultimate trader to see who i'm buying and when i'm selling and get notified on your smartphones just uh go into the link that is proposed in the description thank you guys again and i'll see you next time cheers